All right, and welcome back to another look at one of the Common Rider motorcycles. Machine Winger from Common Rider Wizard. This is a really nice picture. I like the box. But it's just a box. Who cares? So here we have the, the actual device. Oh, come on. Autofocus. Hold still. There we go. So Machine Winger. Um, if I recall, Machine Winger was a retail release of maybe 3,000 yen, about 30 bucks, and that's a really good price. This thing came with a lot of stuff. Uh, let's look at that first. It came with soft rubber mirror and uh, grip, which can be removed and replaced with a hard, not so flexible plastic mirror and grip. So uh, I guess if you are afraid your thing's going to get knocked over, you can use a rubber one. And that's what I have on there, actually, because I sometimes take these to work with me and display them on my office desk. And anyway, it comes with two pairs of hands. Come on, come on. Oh, wow. Both of them with the same one came out. So we get a sort of standard circular gripping hand, both a left and a right, with a connect ring and a flame style ring. Can you see that? Focus. And you get the fingers reaching out to grab the brake pair, like Machine Sigler came with for Forza. And again, flame style ring only. Um, comes with a tiny little plastic stand that you just slide over, and it, it does grab onto the tire really well. Um, so it can stand up with the kickstand up. And what? Well, let's stop there for a minute. <clears throat> Wizard actually has a hand that's pretty good. The fingers extended, but other than that, it's it's it would it's a good grippy grippy hand. And in fact, for the left hand, and I don't have that one on here, but since this one only comes with flame style rings, if you wanted to use a different a different uh, wizard style on the bike, you would have to use those hands or have the wrong ring, ring on there. Now wizard has this cool robe with articulation, I guess just cut. Anyway, how does it work on the bike? I actually haven't tried this. And of course I chose to use water style, who like flame style is a little bit weaker in the waist connection and the driver likes to pop off. My wizard water style is not as bad as flame. Flame, I didn't. I don't even have the driver on him because it will just fall off when I think about it. So you could use the standard robe with this bike if you wanted, but it would look like that, which may or may not be the best look in your opinion. It looks really goofy, actually. Also, I wouldn't recommend that because I've had him in a kneeling pose for a while. And there's creases in the robes. It's, it's, um, I need to put it in a room, warmer room and let those straighten out. So, don't, water style, yay. Don't use that robe. Um, the wizard figures also come with this nice flared out action pose robe, which I really like. And all of mine are using that when I display them. Because really, this robe, just the way it hangs on the hips, just looks wrong. So, let's see how Hurricane looks on the bike. And you know what, we'll pop this hand off and use the breaking grippy hand. Because you can. might not have the uh... anyway um, so how does this robe look 
This robe works great, although it is flaring out to the side a little bit much. And you can see it's actually kind of a he's spinning flow to the robe, so it, it's not correct exactly, but you know, I think it looks fine. Come on, grab onto the stinking bite properly. But you know, I don't know, that works for me. It looks like he's, uh, his cloak is flowing in the breeze. So if that's when you had to use, that would be great, I think. Not a problem. But there's another robe. I just got this in the mail a few days ago. The first release bonus strike wizard robe. So of course this was made for flame style. So I put it on land style. Because reasons. Come on. Um, so how does this one work? Pretend that I have the right grippy hands on here, but what would this look like on the bike? Maybe it's flaring up a little too much. <clears throat> But no, I think that works. Actually, I really like that. Should put it on flame style so it the colors match, but um That kind of works for me. So if you have the Flame Strike first release bonus robe that came with with uh, Flame Style. Oh, look, you can't use the kickstand when you've got that little plastic thing on. Then that one works. But that is not all. The bike comes with a robe, and I think this is what increases the value of this. Considering it was a retail release, and I think it's still pretty easy to come by on Mandarake for around. Uh, 25 to 3,000 yen, 2,500 to 3,000 yen, 25 to 30 bucks. It's worth it for this robe alone because this robe flows back really cool. You can do some uh, walking up the wall poses with it. Or since you would have the bike, I don't know why you wouldn't just put him on the bike wearing the robe. So let's do that. Click, and now that robe is flaring the proper way for being on the bike. You know what? These stands, they need to give you two of these so they balance just a little better. And they need to make them adjustable so you can have them like leaning into a turn or, again, this. These, uh, this is a case from a Masterpiece cassette, and it works for... Masterpiece Transformers cassette works for uh, jumping them up in the air, something like that. So this robe looks really cool. It's definitely the best of the four options. And since it comes with the bike, it's the obvious option. So that is the bike's accessories. The bike itself is beautiful. Now I really like Forza's bike a lot. But it's also a little bit plain looking because it's all just white and black. But this has beautiful copper stuff on it. The red other stuff on it. Even the forks are a bit of a brass color. More clear red plasticky bits over here. Beautiful silver. This bike is pretty. <clears throat> and it should be not too hard to get a hold of. So I recommend it. Definitely. Um... It is a better value than most of the other bikes, considering what you get with it. Here it is next to Hard Boilder. It's not um, like Forrest's bike. It's, it's kind of thin. And this thing's just big and beefy. This has lots of metal, so it's heavy. And this doesn't. This feels like it's all plastic. But the details are all really nice and... 
I mean, it's even got a little chain there. So, Wizard's Bike. Uh, what's it called? Machine Winger. It's cool, and it's definitely worth the asking prices on Mandarake. Um, just because of all the accessories it comes with. And be glad that it was a retail release and not an exclusive, like some of the others are. Or not super duper rare, hard to find, like Agito's is. Um, I have nothing further to say about this bike, except if you have flame style, or any wizard really, because you can't always use their flared out coat, you should get Machine Winger. Oh, I just had a brilliant idea. This works pretty good, if I may say so, for that half second of trying. Heck with Machine Winger. Pick up Hard Boilder and give it to Hurricane Style. Or, ooh, Hurricane Dragon. I wish I had Hurricane Dragon. I would try that on there. So, thanks for watching. Let me know which one I should do next. Lance Style felt jealous, so he stole Bee Chaser. And they look really cool together. I love the wizard figure art. It looks rad. Especially hurricane style. He's pretty cool.